thousands of indigenous protesters say they want to bring the country to a standstill until the government reverses its decision to eliminate fuel subsidies. The demonstrations kicked off last week after the government announced it would hike fuel prices to reduce debt. Indigenous groups say they will remain on the streets indefinitely. While the government doesn't say anything, we will be here until our demands are met. President Lenin Moreno says he will not reinstate fuel subsidies and says allies of his predecessor, Rafael Correra, have infiltrated the demonstrations to overthrow his government. They are the corrupt who have felt the footsteps of justice closing in to make them answer. They are the ones behind this attempted coup and are using and instrumentalizing some indigenous groups taking advantage of their mobilization to loot and destroy in their wake. Hundreds of people have been detained since the protests began last week and a state of emergency has been imposed. The president has fled the capital because of safety concerns. I have moved to the city of Guayaquil and I have moved the headquarters of the government to this beloved city, according to the constitutional powers that fall within my competence. The demonstrations have also hit the oil sector. The state-owned oil company Petro Amazonas suspended operation at three oil fields after they were occupied by demonstrators. Ecuador's government is struggling with a large foreign debt and fiscal deficit. Earlier this year, the country reached a $4.2 billion loan deal with the International Monetary Fund in a deal that requires the government to take austerity measures. In addition to ending fuel subsidies, the government is trimming the state workforce and privatizing assets. Moreno says the cuts will save billions, but the demonstrators are determined to get their way in a country where indigenous-led demonstrations have brought down three governments. Philip Oera, TRT World.